Hi, I am Aditya Thakur and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to answer one of the most commonly asked questions: How to get internships as a Flutter developer? Back when I was working with Flutter, when I started with it, there were not a lot of companies that used to hire Flutter developers. Right now, there are a lot of big startups working with it. There are a lot of companies using it exclusively to build applications. not exclusively extensively to build applications with that said like why should you even think about getting hired or why should you even think about taking up an internship there are a lot of perks to it you get a monthly stipend and all the internships that i have worked on i've got to learn a lot like i have got to meet all these people and just work under them just try to ask them questions and they they would help me with all this stuff they would tell me okay this is what you should know and i would look into it also you get to work on projects that are you know more focused on the user as in if you were building a project for yourself it would be limited to a few people you might send it to a friend and you are thinking from a developer's perspective but when you work on some of these real world projects as an intern you have to think from a user's perspective your project or product manager would ask you to build something for the user and you have to go beyond as a developer like to make more user focused product that would be shipped out to thousands or millions of users and it's just really great to see your product in production with that said like let's talk about before we go into like how to get this internships what companies hire for it so as of now there are a lot of big startups working on it as i already mentioned there's of course zeroda that have their kite app built in flutter and it handles millions of transactions so if anyone ever ask you like is flutter stable for production like show them zeroda kite app or something and there are a lot of other big companies there front row that is using flutter for their own product uh there are other companies like kuhu and a lot more uh, like zest money and all these companies i have written about them in an article that you can check out in the description like i don't want to bore you with all these names so big startups that are working on it and you can always go to their careers page and just apply to these roles and some of them are always hiring you know they are always looking for good talent to um build future products or just improve on their existing ones so you can reach out to someone from their team and maybe apply or send your resume to the careers website or page or email so if instead you're just starting out and you want to look for startups that would offer you an internship what you can do is one go over to linkedin search for flutter developer and just see like uh, their past experience they would have the company mentioned there uh, like what company they worked with last time and you can reach out to these companies by going over to their company page maybe reaching out to some hr by looking up like all the people that work at that company look up the hr send them a dm uh, maybe they might be able to help you do a job role. second thing you can do and this is the one that i recommend is build your own profile like while you're learning flutter just share about what you're learning build some projects with it put them up on your social media like twitter and linkedin and trust me like people would want you to work in their team and they would reach out to you themselves with job roles and this has worked for me a lot of time like i don't have to apply to an internship like i get offered a lot more roles through dms and i can just uh, go over given uh, talk to the person who is hiring and if i want to take it up i can so with that said do uh, do this like do build your profile even beyond getting an internship it's very helpful to get other opportunities and the third way that i would say will also work for you is joining some communities around flutter so let us say if i'm hiring what i would do is i would go over to one of these communities and post the job description or the requirement there and chances are like if you see one of these requirements that fit you you can just apply to these roles so we have a discord server like i have a discord server where i put up uh, opportunities that i come across there are a lot of other people who also like putting in the opportunities there and we also have like mentors to help you if you have any questions that you want to get answered and other than this discord i also have a telegram channel which is just like which is only for posting opportunities so you can join that instead if you just want to look up uh, the opportunities that are available i'll have both the links in the description to check out and there are other communities as well like there's the flutter india discord where you might find some of these opportunities and uh, even beyond flutter india like there are some sub communities of that where you can join in to find some of these roles 
so with that said like maybe try out uh, if you are looking for an immediate position you can always go to one of these servers and check out the job roles available there also just a disclaimer like this video is not to push you to get an internship if you feel comfortable or if you feel that you're at that stage where you need some experience uh, and need to work on uh, as an intern so you can just check out the possibility of working as one and the second part of this video would definitely be like what should i know before i apply to one of these roles so when i first started out i worked as a front end uh, intern like i was working only on the front end and i surprisingly did not know anything about responsive design in flutter then i just uh, knew some basic widgets so there is no limitation as to when you can apply uh, there are always chances that uh, you will get the job role if you are confident enough so i learned a lot about responsive design uh, while working as an intern so yeah what you can do is like you can apply to job roles uh, in the front end side you need to know some of the basic widgets you need to know how you can possibly make responsive apps and uh, uh, like try to look up some of the widgets that help you with layout and how you can do that so you can help certain companies uh, by working as a front end intern where you build the designs into code using flutter and then you can possibly go on to learn about apis how to you know get data and how to just pass this data from the json to dart models and then go on to work with databases and maybe learn about animations to improve on that i have a video on flutter roadmap that might help you but this is like the basic things and based on the use case that your company or the place that you want to work at is doing you can learn certain other things like if your company is working with real time communication maybe take up uh, some projects in that and that would better your chances of getting that internship flutter is vast so there is never a end to learning you can always learn something new the bonus for this particular video would be like even beyond these roles of being an intern developer or something like that there are other roles that you can take up as a flutter developer you can become a developer advocate for a company that is building for developers like uh, there are companies that offer rtc or real time communication solutions you can be a developer advocate for that there are companies that offer uh, authentication you can be a developer advocate for that maybe uh, something like for a chat sdk you can be a developer advocate for that and other than this you can offer consultancy to startups that are just starting out maybe as a flutter developer help them build projects you can always freelance there are a lot of uh, good people from the community i know that are working as freelance developers and earning a lot through it you can uh, build projects uh, have like certain apps made out that would help you uh, shipping out your product for a particular freelance client quickly and you can do that with ease so that is it for this video if this video does help you do leave a like and a comment and maybe help me improve uh, my future videos and let me know if anything else that i can take up in a newer video thank you so much for watching till the end and bye